Hey, I'm Kevin Savitz. I'm one of the hosts of uh, Antic, the Atari 8-Bit podcast, and I finally got my Kovacs Voice Master working. Here's the manual, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate it for you right now. Voice Master looks like this. Um, in a plastic box, it connects only one connection to the Atari uh, to the joystick port, and uh, that is all. There is a uh, microphone port. Uh, which is going to go over here and plug in my cheapy microphone to it. And there's also ports for audio out, except uh, we're just going to let it play right through the Atari. So unlike um, the, uh, the iTalk 2 and the Alien Voice Box, this thing does not uh, generate speech. Um, it just it digitizes and then plays back speech and sound. All right, so I have this hooked up to my 800XL, and uh, this is the menu of the, the program disk. Um, we'll start with, I'm going to start with the bar graph. We can kind of see how it, that it's working. As I talk into the microphone, the bar graph moves and it's really, really exciting how it goes. It doesn't seem to be really uh, too in tune with the, the pitch of my voice. It just doesn't seem real related, but anyway, so that's that. Uh, and then here's the demo program. So first we can record speech. Listen to Antic, the Atari 8-bit podcast. That's it. That's about all you can record. Um, I guess it's really limited by memory. We'll play that back. Listen to Antic, the Atari 8-bit podcast. There you go. Want to hear it again? Listen to Antic, the Atari 8-bit podcast. There you go. Uh, I haven't tried this other stuff. Let's try Echo with that. Annoying. All right, got it. Stop. Stop. Yikes. Oh, it's fading away now. All right. Well, that was terrible. Um, very playback speed. Okay, so, yeah. Yikes. Um, word recognition. Semi interesting. Voice Master, Atari, Computer, Return. So now it's learned those four words. So now when I say them, it should be able to know what I said. Atari, Return. So anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, and let's see what else. Oh, let's see. We'll go back to the main Voice Master menu. So when I was a kid, I had like a, a, they sent me a demonstration, I think it was an audio tape of um, Voice Master. And the thing that really intrigued me was the composer where you could hum or whistle into it and it would turn your, what you did into music. Um, it sort of works, it worked better in my mind when I was a kid. So this is the Voice Master music composer. Composer. All right, so first we're going to record a thing. All right, so now it's recorded it, and we'll see how it can play it back. Um, turning it into notes, musical notes on the computer. Wow, that was terrible. That was not close at all. All right, let's try it. Um, we'll clear it. Try it again. I had luck before with the whistle command, so we're going to try that. Turn it to whistle mode. So I kept the notes, tried to keep the notes distinct that time. Don't run them together. We'll play them back. Uh, see if that works a little better. Yikes. 
so yeah, that's the composer. <laughs> I really wanted this to be cool when I, I just, but I don't know. It's uneven, I guess. I'm the glutton for punishment. We'll try it one more time with a different song. Terrible whistling skills um, notwithstanding. Let's see how it did. That wasn't so bad. So, yeah, that's that. Um, that's the voice harp thingy. Let's see if there's anything else to look at. There's a clock, and so the thing with the clock and the blackjack is you've got to like teach it to say one, two, three, four, five, and then it can say the time. And then in blackjack, you have to teach it to say the card things, the card names, and then it can say them back to you. Do clock. Didn't actually get this to work last time. Uh, we will let's see voice creator. Oh. O, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Really? We're going to do this all the way to 60? Yikes. All right. I was done here. Jumped ahead a bit. Um, the time is a.m. p.m. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. <sighs> okay, now what? Um, save clock voice. Save to disk. No. Um, how do I hear the time now? Just okay. Fine. Save clock voice. Save to disk. Yes. Ha! <laughs> Error twelve. All right. Well, anyway, you've heard it to uh, record and play back stuff. I guess my voice was just too much for it. So that's it. That's basically uh, the Kovax Voice Master um, and uh, the disc I have. There's also a demo disc out there, um, I, I, but I don't actually require, it doesn't actually require the Voice Master to work. So it just has like a terrible, scary talking face on it. I found a video of that on YouTube. All right, that's it. Um, bye.